I've been calling here all night. I know. You didn't answer. <sighs> so what does that tell you? You're rude and inconsiderate. But I already knew that. I had nothing to say. Well, you better think of something. Because if this, this, this marriage or whatever the hell it is is going to work, we need to get a few things straight. Just leave me alone. You should know by now that I can't discuss these kinds of things. I'm not going to leave you alone. Not when you're at war with the world. I'm supposed to be your wife. And if you don't come to me, what does that say about our chances? And if you don't know by now that I love you, if you can't feel it, if you don't believe it when I say it to you, what am I supposed to do? Just talk to me. Tell me the truth. Oh, well, that's, that's really funny coming from you. It's not like honesty has been a real premium with you lately. What's that supposed to mean? Okay, so I decided to stay on birth control pills. Shoot me. Good, good. Now you know why I wasn't able to talk to you. Oh, that is an enormous display of ego, even for you. I mean, seriously, what, what did you expect me to do? Stop taking them just because you decided that we were going to have a baby? No. I expected that we would come to this decision together. I said... I would consider it, oh. along with the big house and the, mm -hmm. and the willow tree. Oh, and so I'm supposed to just stand still, right? Waiting for you to deem it appropriate to move forward. I have a lot of responsibilities, it? David. I have a very important job, one that I wouldn't have even dreamed of a year ago. You also have a husband, one that you wouldn't have dreamed of a year ago. What kind of husband are you? I mean, seriously, most of the time you, you seem to talk to me like you think you're my boss. I am trying be your husband, Anna. But I don't get it. You tell me that I don't share my feelings, and when I do, when I say to you that I want to have a child with you, you don't hear it. You don't get that, that I'm ready to change my entire life for you. Nothing would make me happier than for us to have a family, a house. And a weeping willow tree. I just... <laughs> I... Oh, honestly, David, I, I, I... You're either shutting me out completely, or you're trying to mollify me with, with these greeting card sentiments. Mm -hmm. That's what you think I'm doing, huh? I told you the simple truth of what I'm hoping that we can have as a family, as two people together, and you laughed. No, I... You laughed, Anna. Oh, uh... There are some things that we are very good at, but we just don't know how to talk to each other. Mm. Apparently not. And I don't, for the life of me, know what I'm doing. You think it's my fault and I think it's yours? What now? I don't know. Oh, yes, you do. Come on, Anna. Think of what you just said. That you don't think that we have much of a chance or that you don't believe that I would make much of a husband? Or you're just not saying the word. All right, then I'll say it. Do you want a divorce? Yeah, Chief Devane? Devane, you up? What is it? You hear about the fire at Erica's? No, I, I wasn't on duty. Yeah, well, they're calling it arson, and they've already got Kendall Hart in lockup. Oh, my God. Um, was anyone... Her is, is Erica all right? Uh, Erica's fine, so is Bianca. So am I, in case you were wondering. But the house, um... Uh, house is a total loss, Devane. Okay, um, I have to be at the station, so, uh, thanks for the info. Bye. What is it? Erica's house burned down. She's fine, so is Bianca, but I, I need to go. Well, wait a minute. Wait, no, no, no. You, you didn't answer my question. Did you come here to ask for a divorce? You're the one that brought up the D word, not me. All right, then did you come here to get me to ask for a divorce? You sound like it's what you want, but you want me to be the one to ask for it. Uh, we, we need to pick this up later then, because it's more of a discussion than I've really got time for right now. So I'll call you when I finish work and we can sit down and talk about it. Oh, damn it, Anna. We don't have to talk about it. 
I don't want a damn divorce. Well, I don't either. But, but you want something from me. What is With it? What I said. When you're feeling bad or you're grieving... What? What? You'll be happy to laugh at me? Is that it? Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Really, I didn't. Because actually, I, I think the weeping willow thing is nice. It's just that... You don't think I'm on the, on the level, is that it? I am. And I'm willing to risk you mocking me to tell you so. Okay. What do you need from me? What am I not giving you? Uh, well, that last bit about me not being much of a husband, well, that was... that was pretty rough. Sorry. Look, I know that we got married so that you wouldn't have to testify against me. But what I want right now, I want... I want to be your husband, okay? With everything that goes along with it. That, that's, that's not a con, Anna, okay? But, but you think that I'm still in love with Dixie, or who knows, with her spirit or something. And I don't know what, what shape I'm supposed to, like, twist myself into to make this work. I don't know what I to do. You don't have to do anything. I just need you. You need me? So what does that mean? What the hell do you think it means? It means I need you. Beside me, trusting me and turning to me. And if you want a family, well, that, that is a conversation. Okay, David, a conversation between us. It's not a directive. And while we're at it, if, if we want this thing to work, you can never, ever walk out on me again and disappear for the night because mm -hmm. I'm telling you, that is a deal breaker. All right, you know, maybe you should go to work because I think you're right. There's, this conversation is going to be no, a lot longer than No, you know I am serious about this, don't you? Yes, you know I am. yes, I do. You are the most challenging, the most alluring You're an woman. infuriating <laughs> man, you know? I hate that I love you. I hate it. Well, then maybe that means that we're going to have a very interesting life together. Hmm? Mm. I'm sure they can wait for you at work. <laughs> 